As of lately, bug bounties for hackers and security experts have begun to offer some serious bank. But are all bug bounties created equal? I'm Scott Schober, and this is your two-minute cybersecurity briefing. In the world of cybersecurity, there is a real need for these cyber exterminators to report bugs they discover on websites and software applications and how a potential hacker might exploit these vulnerabilities. Since 1996, companies like Netscape have encouraged their own employees to find weaknesses in their software. Since then, bug bounties have expanded to include entire ecosystems and live events surrounding the exploits of talented hackers. With sessions entitled, Screw becoming a pen tester. When I grow up, I want to become a bug bounty hunter. As part of DEF CON's highly anticipated lineup, bug bounties have become the hot new thing for security crowd. Established bug bounty programs provide monetary compensation and recognition when an individual discovers and shares vulnerabilities. Bugs can be difficult to discover, especially by internal IT staff and software programmers. In the corporate sector, Major players in the tech industry like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft were first to embrace bug bounties, but the playing field has widened significantly to encompass numerous companies outside the tech space to virtually every vertical. United Airlines recently began Hacking for Bounty, a program which rewards hackers for notifying United Airlines regarding vulnerabilities and security issues within their computer networks. At only 19 years old, Oliver Begg from the Netherlands was awarded 1 million frequent flyer miles for his discovery. United Airlines is the only airline that has publicly instituted a bug bounty program. They reward hackers 50,000 miles for reporting low security issues, 250,000 miles for medium severity bugs, and 1 million miles for remote code execution. In an effort to avoid a report of last year's widespread stage fright security flaw in over 950 million Android devices, Google has thrown their hat into the bug bounty ring. A white hat hacking team from China called Cool360 answered Google's challenge by successfully hacking the Google's Pixel in under 60 seconds. The team was awarded a bug bounty of 120 thousand dollars. Not a bad pay off considering how little time they were able to spend with the brand new device. At a recent Black Hat conference, Apple announced their own invite-only bug bounty program worth up to $200,000. This program also offers a hefty $100,000 for a single vulnerability identified with the secure enclave, but only for security researchers who have previously worked with Apple. You may wonder why Apple chose to close the bug bounty off to hackers in general. In an effort to dissuade unethical hackers from bidding up the 200K award, Apple chose not to work with unvetted sources. But only after a week, after they announced their bug bounty, Texas-based firm Exodus Intelligence announced that they would pay up to $500,000 for any iPhone zero-day exploits. To date, no one has reportedly claimed a prize from either Apple nor Exodus Intelligence, but these events raise some eyebrows in the security community. It's not too difficult to envision a day when valuable network and device security exploits will fetch orders of magnitude higher than their creators are willing to pay out for bug bounties. At some point, even Apple, the richest company in the world, will be outbid by hackers across the dark web.